Greetings, minions! It's Auntie Heather here, Supreme Ruler of the Minion Horde, and um, I'm actually going to start making some videos. Uh, the videos are pretty much going to be me being random and weird, because that's what I do. I also want to maybe give you a little bigger glimpse into my life and to who I am and the kind of things I'm about, in case you don't know, or in case you want to know more. Um, for now, welcome to my office! Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I kind of want to show you around a little bit. I'm only going to show you a little bit today, and then we'll get to more as I progress to do videos. If you don't like the videos, don't tell me. Just stop watching them. But if you do like the videos, please, please comment on everywhere, wherever you see them. Comment and tell me what you like. Tell me what you want to see, because I'm really open to doing whatever. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I will just do whatever you want. No, no, never say that on the internet. That's bad. I will not do whatever you want, internet. I will not. Anyway, um, over here, you can see a couch. It's lovely, isn't it? Ding! Lovely couch. Um, my lovely couch is actually a coffin. Yeah, a real coffin. It was actually used in a viewing for a funeral, and I stripped it down to bare metal afterwards because you, you're not allowed to keep using them after you used it for viewing and then they redid it with leather and upholstery and all this and it is one of my prized possessions. You can check them out at coffincouches.com. Sitting on my couch you will see my co-hosts, co-hosts, co-stars, co-babies. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this is Perturbed Baby. She hates everything. That's why she's perturbed, baby. Okay, sitting next to her is creepy baby. And she's creepy because she has teeth and a tongue. And I think at night that she skitters around the house and nibbles on people's toes, but I'm not sure. So anyway, that's uh, kind of my writing environment. I, I write in my office all the time. I love it. To me, while this might be a, a macabre, strange place to other people, to me it's incredibly comforting. And I feel at my most creative. If you write... I think you should have a spot, a spot for your writing, you know, whether it's a coffee house or whether it's at your dining room table. I wrote it on my dining room table for years and years. Wherever it is, it should be your place. It should be the place that you're like, this is where I write. And that's where you, you just find your words when you're surrounded by comfort, you know. Anyway, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. She is also another one of my prized possessions. Her name is Lucy. Say hello, Lucy! If I should have like unhinged her jaw and had her be like, hello, minions, but I didn't. Um, Lucy is a, is a real human skull. She is an adolescent female. I thought that was kind of fitting for being a YA author. Anyway, um, <laughs> I love Lucy, and it took me a long time to find her, but she is just, she's lovely. Here, take, take a look at those teeth. They're just absolutely beautiful. She is gorgeous and lovely, and, and I, I love Lucy, and I, I do talk to her a lot. She does sit in my office up on my bookcase, and um, we have conversations sometimes. You know, I get stuck. Lucy helps when I'm not talking to my kitties. Um, I have a really strange, undeniable urge to lick her right now, but I'm not going to do that because that would be weird, even for me. So I'm going to put her down and not lick the skull. Okay. Anyway, um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about some of the books that I'm getting ready to read, why I'm getting ready to read them, and, uh, you know, don't worry. It's not all going to be about books all the time because I'm not about books all the time. I love books, and I love reading, and I love libraries, and I just, I love bookstores, I love all of it, but life is more than books. So, I, you know, some of the stuff I talk about is going to be books. I'm really excited about this one. I actually can't wait. Scowler by Daniel Krauss. This thing looks phenomenal. I've heard that it's truly, deeply disturbing. Oh, and that's what I'm looking forward to. I want to be disturbed when I read a book. I mean, that's that's what I like. I like to be unsettled. I don't like happy endings. I don't like when everything's tied up in a neat little bow and everybody's happy and, oh, bad things happen, but everything's okay now. I like when things are just ripped to shreds. But, you know, that's, that's just how I am. <laughs> anyway, um, I actually was yelled at by my husband 
you see, I have never read To Kill a Mockingbird. I know, I know, I've never read To Kill a Mockingbird. I think I was chased away from classics when I was in school. Because, you know, they have this way of forcing books down your throat. And they give you so many books that are, frankly, boring that it just sucks the life out of your reading. So I always gravitated towards horror, and they never taught that in school. So I never read To Kill a Mockingbird. My husband said, you of all people have to read To Kill a Mockingbird. It's so it's about civil rights. It's amazing. You'll love it. So I am going to read To Kill a Mockingbird, as is uh, my daughter, who I referred to online as the girl. And we're going to talk about it. So I'm really excited about this one. So you might want to check that one out with me, too, if when you're done reading Scowler or whenever. And then... Um, the next book, actually, that I'm rereading, but I lost my copy. I've, I've had copies of this book. I, I read them until they fall apart, and then uh, I buy new ones because I love this story so much. But I'm actually, I just got my new copy. I'm going to reread The Catcher in the Rye because I'm dying to be in that world again. I really, I love this book. If you've not read this book, Minions, you need to. Uh, I, some people love it. Some people don't love it. I love it. It's one of my favorites. I'm also rereading actually in process rereading Everybody Sees the Ants by the fabulous A.S. King, who is, like, amazing, and you would dig her. And if you, you love Vlad, then read this, because it's amazing. It's incredible. So that's what I'm doing for right now, um, as far as books go. As far as writing goes, I'm writing. I'm writing a lot. I'm Well, it's weird, though, because, like, some of the stuff I'm writing right now is stuff that I have wanted to write, for years and years. So it's like a complete different approach to a world that I came up with, what, like six years ago or something. So I'm really excited about it though. It's definitely uh, more on the horror line of things. And uh, I'm hoping I, I get to share it with you soon. And I'm hoping you'll be really excited about it too. So anyway, um, if you have any questions for me, if there's anything you'd like me to do, discuss, answer any of those things, Put them in comments wherever comments could. I don't. Eat, I don't know where the comments are. So wherever the comments are, all around here, put questions there. Trippy, look at the hands. Anyway, also, um, I wanted to answer a few questions. I know you're going to ask. And the other, will there be a movie? Okay, minions. Let me explain. Okay, movies are very difficult to come by. We hope there will be a movie of whatever it is that you love, Vlad. Joss, Kaya, whatever it is, I hope. I don't know. Uh, and the only way that we can figure that out is when movie people decide there's going to be a movie. I have no control over it. If I did, we would already have a movie. However, we could do sock puppets. I'm thinking about it. So I, I answered that one so, to kind of cut to the chase and everything so that you guys don't, you know, don't ask me about the movie because I already answered it. <laughs> but you can ask me pretty much anything else as long as it's not... Um, inappropriate. Don't be inappropriate minions. There are very few things that I actually consider inappropriate anyway, so that's totally cool. But um, yeah, so that's me, and that's my video, and now it's, now it's over. So, you, 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 you can go. So, go, go, go on. Go on, internet. Go, go, go. Oh, I sh Oh, I got it. With a thing? Oh, and, and click. Okay. All right. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. Love you, Minion. Be good and uh, be safe. And remember that Auntie Heather loves you.